Hey, this is Brimstone, and you're watching Really Random Rants. Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hello and welcome to Really Random Ranch, the show where we do just that. I'm Tim and today we have special guest star, Remstone. Wow, I'm a star now. This is great. This, I always wanted to be a star. This guy's done pretty much everything you can think of. He has his own hot sauce line, your own coffee line, yeah. uh, t-shirt, radio show, pro wrestler, much, much more. I, I, I did a little something, something here and there. Yeah, I've been in the industry for a very long time. I started out uh, when I was about five. I was on Sesame Street and Rock Balloon. And then I toured the world in uh, music and then I toured the wrestling. I'm an actor, I'm author, a comic book character. Flam. You guys know who Stan Lee is? The guy who created Spider Man. I'm the celebrity spokesperson for this foundation, Literacy and Children. Make sure you check that out and support me. And the Ryan House video, I do with uh, my co hosts, uh, Kim Zambo, and uh, we've got Mr. Greer, who's also, also here today. He hasn't been out to a con yet, so he's here. Show him. Say hello, everyone. So, you know, we're, we're uh, you know, we do stuff and things. Right now, we're on uh, over 19 different networks, iHeartRadio, and so forth. We're getting between 3 and 4 million listeners weekly worldwide. We've got a um, television series in production right now called Behind the Grind, based on the radio show, uh, which is going to be on Amazon, Roku, and Apple TV. And uh, we're very psyched about the game, GHR, uh, which is going to be, it's the, based on the radio show, GHR, The Great Airspace Chase, which features all of the characters from the show. So it's going to be absolutely amazing. So, you got questions? Yes. I got answers, I hope. Now, the first one might take you a little while. Oh my goodness. How did you get started in heat? Job. Ooh, this kid hates me. He hates me. He's a okay. citizen. Good luck. All, right. <laughs> All right, so, you know, obviously when I was, you know, five, six, you know, my mother had brought me into, um, you know, a bunch of different uh, commercial uh, type things like the Rice Christmas and so forth. Um, and that brought us into uh, Sesame Street and then Rock World. And then from there, um, what do you call it? You know, I was uh, a little brick. And uh, not that little brick, but that mine out of the gutter. So, uh, you know, I started reading comic books and I really into comics. And, uh, you know, I kind of got steered off into music. Music became my first true love. So I became a drummer. Um, then I wound up uh, getting into a couple of things and toured the world for that. Um, then from there, uh, I got sick of being in a five way marriage. You know, being in a five way marriage means, you know, you've got four or five other people that you've got to work with and deal with on a regular basis. And it's just not, you know, always fine. So, um, you know, I wound up uh, getting into professional wrestling. And, um, you know, I, I rode that train for a long time. And uh, I worked pretty much everywhere. And, it was a long thing. and um, from there, I figured, well, I don't want to be really getting up there in the systems and so forth and slow going and just work on your brain. I want to do some other things. So, the Brimstone character, I felt, had a lot of things. Uh, so, I figured, let me go back to one of my original loves, which was comic books. Your hands are going to get tired by the end of this. Book. It is very tired. Okay. So, uh, I went back to the comics and I put together a team and put together Brimstone and all things, uh, which is the comic book. Now, everything else kind of ties into that. So, um, so the character uh, has, now has new legs and new life. The comic book, the comic book events, one the animated series, the kids' books, um, the video games, uh, you know, and all that jazz. You know, and then it just leads from there. Now, when I was doing the conventions on the convention circuit, I got sick of planes, trains, and automobiles and not seeing anything else. So, you asked. I'm, I'm giving. Okay. So, I'm giving you short versions. So, um, so, I said uh, to my agent at the time, I said, you know, I want to start doing something outside of just going to events, and that's it. Um, I like to eat, and I'm good at it. <laughs> I said, why not do a food series? So we started doing um, a food series called Food Hounds Tidbits. We did three seasons of that, and from there, I was double down on my, my Line, I've always wanted to do. Um, you know, candy line, coffee line, and all that. Jazz. And um, you know what I'm saying? Like everything kind of worked from there. And then I expanded how I'm going to say, kind of entertainment from there. And then from that, I expanded the house show. So, we're going to have an example. And Kim, 
we started out in Nigeria. So hopefully that was a short yeah. version of the long I tell you, this guy has thing. done it all. It's, did that work? Was that an all right answer? It's a little boring, but you asked. Hey, it was the thorough. That was the first question. He's got a list like this. It's like sand is coming. All right. Well, oh, that was definitely the longest of all the questions. <laughs> okay. How hard is it to make a comic series? You know, it really depends on the team that you have behind you. I mean, if you have a, um, a really solid team, they get it out, they get it done quick. Um, and it comes down to creative. So, you know, uh, I was lucky and fortunate enough to put together a real quality team. And, um, you know, there's some more things. Sure. Bang. So, uh, are your comics about superheroes? If not, what not? You know, I wouldn't necessarily call it superheroes, even though a lot of superhero fans happen to enjoy the Grimstone comic line. Um, Grimstone and his crew of Warhounds are Hell's version of the Border Patrol. So they're not meant to keep people out, they're meant to keep people in. We do a lot of, um, we do a lot of history in here, you know, um, folklore and so forth. So it's, it's a really deep, deeply involved, and I don't want to bore you guys. You can check it out on AmazonComics.com. Um, but what do you call it at the end of the day? It's a, it's a very cool story. It's, I wouldn't go superhero. I would go supernatural superhero. Yeah, I kind of, you know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll right. work that out. What do we got? Uh, the next one is, tell us a little bit about your radio show. Radio show is the worst. No, I'm just kidding. It's, uh, we, we, uh, we're a pop culture based talk show. We, we do two hours a week. Uh, we have some amazing guests from all over the industry. Uh, you know, since I've been around, I've held so many, you know, wore so many hats. I know people from all different genres as opposed to just one. So we have a lot of musicians come on, a lot of wrestlers, a lot of sports people. We've got uh, actors, actresses. I mean, you know, uh, anything to do with entertainment, you know, we do. And uh, it, it's, it's turned out to be amazing. I mean, I, I figured, all right, we'll do it as a hobby. Now it's taking up a good portion of my time. And uh, I'm lucky enough to have an amazing team and, and partners. You know what I mean? If I didn't have the people that I had working with me, it just wouldn't be the same. You know, when you got that right mix, like when you guys do your really random rants, you guys work well together. So it's the same thing with GHR. You know, we work very well together. And when we get into the studio, you know, we like to call it a good match. So you know, it doesn't help that they're better looking than me, too. So it helps more people come and check us out. And they go. Totally unrelated, but what's your biggest regret in life? Wow. My biggest regret is being away from my family as much as I've had to be away from them and, and sacrifice a lot of time. Because when you're in entertainment, you know, especially in, in, in entertainment, you're away a lot. Um, you know, and I was on the road a lot and I missed, uh, you know, my, my son and my daughter, you know, my, my older son and daughter, I missed a lot of them growing up. Now it's a little bit easier, even though I am on the road a lot. Um, we have the luxury of phones that, you know, show video and uh, the same thing with, uh, um, you know, computers and laptops and tablets we didn't have before. So, um, you know, it, it allows me to see, you know, my little one and my older ones. And, you know, it's a lot better. But, yeah, that's that's the biggest thing. You know, the biggest regret is me not being able to spend as much time with my kids. Although I never missed, I never missed a, an event like a birthday or, you know, anything special. I was always back. See? So, um, we... I'll explain this question first. Oh. We were talking a lot That's about you last night, okay. and we were making jokes like you probably have uh, Wolverine claws. You can probably fly. We're saying you, you do, do all so this much great you, you, charity work. <laughs> Will you ever run for office? Funny enough, we were joking around about that on the show. We said Brimstone 2020, and um, you know, every time I, I wind up talking about it, you know, they are like. <laughs> So, you know, it's a joke. I mean, I, I'm as much as um, I personally dislike what's going on in office now, I'm not pushing that on anybody. You know, um, personally, I don't know. It would be it would be funny and fun to do it. You know what I mean? I don't think I would get as many votes you would win. that I would need. I don't know. I would hope so. But you know what? I tried to get him on Celebrity Apprentice and I get, didn't get on Celebrity Apprentice. So, you know, winning uh, the presidency, I, I don't know. I don't know. If you guys all vote for me, maybe I have a chance. Do it. Well, if everyone who watches our videos votes for you, you have like three more people voting for you. That's awesome. We're good. I'm on. I'm in. I'm in. 
All right, so what else? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your philanthropy. My philanthropy. Um, well, I'm the celebrity spokesperson for the Stanley Foundation, uh, which is literacy for children, so I'm very passionate about that. Um, I do a little bit of everything. I've done anything from candle lighters, uh, which is cancer for children, uh, cancer for children, uh, uh, arthritis foundation, which, you know, it's a form of professional wrestling, you know, my, my body is not like, you know, the body of others, you know, I, I have aches and pains. So, you know, and, and the list goes on and on. I have to do everything from wildlife to this and that. I, say, I just, I, I feel it's very important to give back, never forget where you came from, and always continue to give back as much as possible. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much, you know, the, the, the extent of it. I mean, the long and short is, you know, if something comes up that I can do, I can't do everything. I'm sorry, guys, I try, but, you know, I can't do everything for this one. But I try to do as much as I can. Um, you know, when they ask me to do it, if I'm available, I do it. All right, and the next question is, what is your favorite hot sauce? Hot sauce? My favorite sauce, personally, is um, my sweet e treat, which is a sweet chili hot sauce. Ooh, um, it is banging. It is, it's amazing. Um, I, I absolutely, yeah, it, it goes like this every time I have it in. Like, I, I'm out of it right now, otherwise I'd like to taste it. It's, it's amazing. And then on my seasoning side, my favorite is my health. My, my dust from hell, we changed the name, I'm sorry. But uh, the dust from hell is, is amazing. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a three chili seasoning that is just maddening how good it is. I don't want to tell you all the secrets of what's some of the tracks on my dressing. Anyway, but it's all those by two. Alright, so hope I'm hope I'm making sense. It's early here. Yeah. You should still be sleeping right now. Really get me out of bed. It's okay, this is the final question. Oh you can ask me a hundred questions. I'm good. What tip what tips would you give to people to pursue their dreams? Work hard, never give up, never surrender. Anybody, everybody out there is gonna try to tear you down. Don't let them tear you down. You know, they, they just keep on keeping on. That's that's the best advice I can give. A lot of people get frustrated if things aren't happening so quick. You know, it doesn't happen quick. It doesn't work that way. Their overnight success stories are not overnight. They've usually been in the business for 10 years and you just didn't know it. You know what I'm saying? So it's just work hard, always put your best foot forward. Am I allowed to, to say that? I'm sorry. We'll, we'll pop it out. Okay. Just, just bust your hump and make sure that you're, uh, you know, you're, you're doing the best you can. Because another thing is, is you're out there doing it. And there's about another million people out there trying the same thing. So you just got to do it and do it better. Hope I'm making sense. He's like, yeah, this guy's cool. No, actually, he's no, like, really into no, it's just that he has no way to respond to that awesomeness. <laughs> I think he should teach a history class. I'm in. That would be bring me in. Stone's history. I do. I do. You know what I mean. I, I do a lot of. I do a lot of talks in schools. I do high schools and college. I do elementary schools. I do trade schools. So I do a lot of a lot of work with students. And you know, people people ask questions, and I try to give them the most honest answers back because you know nobody wants to be BS. You know what I mean. And if you really honestly want to get into the business, if you want to learn, and you want to grow, you've got to understand there are ups, there are downs, there are peaks, there are valleys. You know, you have to understand that uh, you're not the only one in the game. You know, in the rest of the industry. There's only about 100 something spots. In those 100 spots, you know what I mean? There's a couple hundred thousand people out there trying to get into the business and they're going to step on your head to get that spot. So, you know what I mean? You, you have to be better than, you know, the next person to get that opportunity. And that opportunity doesn't mean you're necessarily going to get that shot. Right. So, um, I hope I'm making sense. But that, yeah, that's it. You got it. You got to, the, the, the young bucks and the young girls out there, they have to understand that they can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it, okay? Anybody can do what I do. It's just putting your best foot forward and working with you know, your backside off to make it, make it happen. Well, thank you for doing this. No little problem. Little no problem, little Again, problem. Again, this guy right here. This is Brimstone. Uh, check him out on all his social media accounts. Uh, are they up on the screen somewhere? No, they're in the link. To, they're in Links the description. Down below. Links down below. Like me on Twitter. I'll talk back. This guy messages me like all hours. I don't think he sleeps. No, he doesn't. No, I, I'm his friend, and he does not sleep. I'm sorry. He sleeps from like <laughs> maybe two to three. Oh man, you need to get some sleep, kid. Anyway, so hashtag Dev did it first, and have a really, really random day. <laughs>